is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Chicken Bone Alley, brought to you by SRI Performance, Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, Earl Ramey Racing Engines, and Profab Hitters and Exhaust. What is going on? I'm David. I'm Connor. What's up, man? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Finally finished school this week. Are you, are you finished I'm or done. are you finishing? You're done. I'm done. I'm out of it. You're done. Till next. Oh, was last day. Uh, Thursday, Thursday basically, I had to come Friday for like graduation practice and all that, you know, because I'm a junior marshal or whatever. Yeah. So I had to do that Friday, but pretty much. I was about the, to say, you just graduating early on? Yeah. See what you doing? I know. <laughs> but uh, basically, Thursday, I was over with. Good. Good. Yep. Well, that's cool. That's cool. That's uh, now time for all the summer fun. Yeah. All Big of, summer planned? Not really. Not really. Just same old right now. I don't know. We'll see. Town take take it as it comes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's uh, the main thing on the agenda right now. Hey, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Cool, cool. So yeah. how did uh, how did grades end up? They were good. Uh, always, always. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Except for, except, except for the one college class. But uh, what you getting it? Like a, a eighty eight or something. Eighty eight was that yeah. trick? Yeah. Yeah, it's tough stuff. It, tough ain't the word. <laughs> yeah, so you, you, we got through it though. You're good at all that. He Connor's gonna be the engineer on these cars over here. <laughs> I don't know about that. Set up man here. In I wish. A while. That's one thing I'm not real smart on setups. Hey, if you can figure out all the trigonometry stuff, you can figure out all the geometry on a race car. Yeah. Well, uh, it wasn't always me figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them, man. <laughs> no. They might listen, Connor. <laughs> hey, nah. Some, sometimes photo math will help you out, you know. <laughs> that good stuff. Well, you yeah, know, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Well, cool. I got a basic knowledge of it, so. Well, cool. Well, well, how was your weekend? It was good. Um, Friday, like I said, we had FCS graduation, so I was out there. Um, Saturday, I had to go coach the little baseball team. At the at the church there, and uh, went to a friend's birthday party, and then uh, watched some racing. And uh, Sunday, watched more racing. <laughs> How about you? It was a it was a weekend uh, for sure. We um we let's see Friday got over here and put the fan, finishing touches, I guess we'll say, on the race car. Um, loaded up trailer, couldn't even go take take the trailer this week they had the uh relay for life stuff going on over at dylan so oh, okay. couldn't take it early so just kind of set her out yep looked at it thing straight and put her in the box and where she is right now in mm-hmm. time out as you <laughs> in time out you didn't <laughs> want to happy with it yeah uh, well no yeah you felt like you did all you, could, you know yeah did what but, it could um, do. but so spent all day at, at dylan saturday um uh, Good racing, decent decent crowd for. Uh, um, I know they had said a lot of people were at the uh, at Northwood, and that's for, probably valid. Yeah, oh yeah, very much so. Because I ain't alive. I had thought about it. It was a thought. Yeah, it I was still want to fight traffic. Yeah, and just it's so long. I heard. I think it wasn't as bad this time. They they said it. Uh, I know they said after the All Star race. Yeah, I they seen, had traffic out there. An hour yeah, I seen tweets minutes, and all about that, and which is amazing. Way better than what a car tour last year. Well, I I. I if you wait around till everything was done and half everybody was gone, oh, I'm sure it won't matter. It, it drove yeah. right out. <laughs> we, we like we like did the, like, we kind of did the, like the middle ground. We we watched cars tour, and then watched some street stocks. So we were going to watch the limited race, but they just they kept dragging it older and older between yeah. races. So we we kind of called that a good time too. Last year when that uh, cars tour race, I think I got home at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think we were about two thirty three. Yeah, yeah, that was that was rough. That was but rough. um, it was but yeah. So anyway, uh, spent all day. Racetrack Saturday, uh, got up Sunday morning, went to church. Uh, I actually had to leave out li- little little early from there. I had a family reunion to go to. Oh, really? Yeah. How about that? Where at? And I'm uh, right here at um, uh, Lynchard River County Park. Okay. Uh, so it wasn't far, just but I'm the vice president of our family reunion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Prestigious. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> uh, and uh, but since I have sound equipment from DJ stuff, I took a speaker and oh, hey, music, yep. and, you know, just so because we got a bunch of older folk that can't half hear. No, oh, I understand so, that. So we uh, had to have a microphone, all that fun stuff, <laughs> you know, all that, all that good jazz. Cool. Oh, uh, so spent a little while there with some family, a lot of well. It's all family, but this reunion is the Cusack family reunion, um, and the Cusack side of my family is 
huge. Where? I mean, huge. Where they from? Most mostly in this area. Like crossroads. Oh, okay. There you go. So <laughs> Which yeah, is where I live. Yeah. Uh, so mostly in this area. They they were in this area, but there was um eleven of them. Of, uh, and this would be my. Like my great grandparents, eventually, or great great. Um, but anyway, there was eleven of them, and so they kind of spread out a little bit. Um, but all the ones that branch off of there come back. So yeah, so that's a that's a pretty well big size. It reunion, is, I imagine. But they're so spread out that not a whole lot of them show up anymore. Yeah. Um, they were there for a few years. Kind of dwindled off, which we had a lot of a lot of people. I just went to one of my uncle's funerals the other week, and mm. uh, so we've had a lot of them die in recent years, unfortunately. But so you know, but what was really funny? I say funny. She she probably didn't think it was too funny. Is uh, my aunt, uh, my aunt Delane, has been our secretary slash treasurer for past few years. Past wow, um, she's helped out with a lot of it. Um, and she she's got a lot on her plate right now, so she was looking for somebody to kind of take over or whatever. Well, I was just picking. I said, let's make Kayla do it, my wife. <laughs> and uh, and so I didn't say it so anybody could hear it. Well, all of a sudden my mom says, yeah, I nominate Kayla. <laughs> and so it started. And all of a sudden my aunt just says, uh any seconds? And somebody says a second. All in favor? Everybody throws their hand up. <laughs> so now my wife is a secretary, secretary <laughs> slash treasurer <laughs> of our family. What an election. She said we still in the doghouse for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a, it was a rigged that's, that's, election. That's an honor. That's an honor. Yeah, exactly. She 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 gets to be the secretary of a family. She's not technically blood ready. <laughs> she's married into it. So uh, it's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> the way I see it. Uh so, uh, but yeah, it was, uh, we had some good food. What was really funny though, let's see if I got time. Yeah, I got a little bit of time. We got, we got a few minutes. Uh, what was really funny though is there's always a pile of food as there is at every family reunion. Uh, and all right, when you think family reunion, you think there's food there. What's one of the first foods you think? One of the first foods? Yeah, one of the first foods you would think about that people would bring. I don't know, mac and cheese? Or something? There you go, yeah. macaroni and cheese. Guess what nobody brought? Wasn't there. Nobody brought Uh-oh. macaroni and cheese. And what it was was everybody said, well, there'll be somebody else. Somebody will bring it. Yeah. Somebody else will bring it. No mac and cheese. Man, you have to go to a store or something. I was like, somebody better go to the jangles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get one of those side boxes or whatever. No, we had no mac and cheese. I Thanks. was... I was like, how do we have a family reunion with no mac and cheese? We had fried chicken. We had barbecue. We had green beans. We had sweet potatoes, everything else under the world. I blame it on the vice president. I do, too. (laughs) I told him I'm going to have to make a a a list. That's kind of what what we do. Just like a group (laughs) chat and pretty much tell what you're bringing. It's never been an issue. Never been an issue. There's always been more than enough. This year it was an issue. Well, I mean, you, li- you live and you other, learn. We had plenty of other things to cover yeah. it for it, but you know, I used that was unfortunate. Not have mac and cheese. Yeah, one of my favorite things ever. So. <laughs> but Kayla made her cookie dessert. Uh, I'd get you some of that. Yeah, that does sound good. Pretty good. It's uh, it's 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 really simple, but it's really good. It's um, Cool Whip and cookies. Can't Dip, be. Chocolate chip, chip yeah. oh, cookies. I love them. It and she layers them on top. Of it just layer of cookies. Cool layer of Cool Whip. Their cookies, their cookie whip, but it's, they're dipped the cookies in milk before you put them on there. Sounds good. Drizzle some chocolate over top. Ooh. Of yeah, I'd like to try that. Good. That sounds good. It's good. Can't, can't beat that. Kelly, you got Not- the inside, bring some. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with cookies and Cool Whip. No, it's it's, it's amazing. It, it is. I call it crack because that's how addicting it is. <laughs> <laughs> we got some crack here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't eat none of this if you don't want to get addicted. But, um, no, nah, it was good. We had fun. Then went in the uh, little, since we were at the Lynchard River County Park, or they got the little Discovery Center with the... Yeah, I actually, I've been there one time. A little you? full trip. Yeah, yeah, we went in there and checked out the snakes and alligators. Got a little alligator in there. Yeah. He's, he's like this long. 
Let it yeah, it's, been, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah it's that's pr- pretty pretty neat little. They got some trails if I remember. Well, right. they got the um, they got the bridges. Bridges, that's little, right. The thing, the the rope bridges, I guess yeah. you call it. Uh, me and Landon went back there and got on them. What's really funny is Landon's not a fan of heights. Yeah, it's really funny. I mean, like uh, you're not gonna fall. I mean, yeah. there's you, there's cables everywhere. You're not gonna <laughs> fall. He get on it. He go. He he liked it. When he gets to the end, though, he's hugging the tree. <laughs> <laughs> he had to be back on the it. ground. Yeah. <laughs> I made it. No, nah, it, cool. uh, it was good. And then we came back and sat down and watched the, uh, it, uh, watched the all-star race there. Or started watching it. Felt like huh. it was just, it felt like a big time between, a, a lot of time between the open yeah. and the, uh, we'll get in there. I thought it just felt long in general. It like just, just, just the amount of laps. But yeah, we'll talk about that. It did feel long. Um, but anyway, I reckon I can go ahead into Dylan since uh, it wasn't a whole lot to talk about. Before we, we got a little while here before we got a guest coming on the show. Um, well, went over there, uh, got everything, you know, typical, same old, same old. Went and got our tires. By the time we got the tires mounted up, uh, the open practice was over. Go really? Figure. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. It just seemed like it. Just took a. Well, I thought about going also. out there with the tires we had from last time. I was like, let's uh, we will. And then, but they didn't open the tire building for a little while, wow. so just got sidetracked. I guess I don't know. And then it's like forty-five minutes into the practice, they opened the tire building. I was Probably like, a mad rush there. And then everybody's yeah, trying. To- there was quite a few, so I was like, well, let's go ahead and get tires. That way we're ready. Get that, for get that over with. Practice. Yeah, you're not messing around and. No, then awesome. you have something, have yeah. an issue. Uh, you know how that is. So uh, anyway, went out there, got the tires. Had really good tires. Really? Really good tires. Were they uh, the 25s or? Yep, 25s. Okay. Um, but they were really good. Um, the ones that were A+, plus were really A+. Plus. A+, plus, is A. A+, plus, A+. Plus. So oh, yeah. Was I, a I'll, was still, in my opinion, A+. Plus. I, I'll Even give Dylan. C that I had, I was like, nothing wrong with that tire. Yeah. So. Oh, Dylan, I'll give them credit for sure. They always got... Some good scuff tires. They were. They even, were even when it was hard to get them, they seemed to have. They were really good. Um, our only problem is, and me and Chad were even talking about this, uh, I think we're getting close to our limit on temperature-wise down here. Talking about the heat. 25s. With the 25s, yep. Yep. What time was the race? Was it still daylight when we, you were racing? It was. Sun was going down. But, so, like, but, sun was in our eyes. So I mean, so I mean, the it track, had cooled down. But the track we've been baked all day, so right. it's going to take a little bit longer. Right. To, so, I mean, if we were racing at night, it'd be great. Which, I mean, yeah. they weren't bad. I'm not saying they were yeah. bad. No, 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 no. They were perfectly fine, but we're we're about to that limit because they get just hot enough now that they start feeling greasy. And, it's not, and it's, it's not, not like, a, like a wobble coming yeah, out the corner. Yeah, just a little bit. It's like you come off the corner and just kind of sits over on the right rear and yeah. comes back. Well, it just, like, it just wobble, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you just get used to it. The first couple of times, it's like I'm I'm loose. No, no, I'm not really loose. Hold <laughs> <Yeah>. on, <laughs> it's like I'm still playing it. It's just yeah, it's just, it's just back in, jumping here. out. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but anyway, so got out and practice. Uh, car felt pretty decent. Come in, made a couple changes. Um, went back out second round. Car got even a little little better. I, that's one thing I can say is every time better we every car, time every time we went out, then we went out to qualify and I actually slowed down just a little bit. And oh, I man. think, well, I think it was one of the hottest times of the day. Yeah, when we went out to qualify because it was about four o'clock, so that was pretty much what we had been on track. That was the hottest it had been. Um, just got a little too loose, actually loose off. Um, so it was what it was. I mean, yeah. it wasn't too bad. Um, qualified fifth. Uh, got in the race, got running, moved up to fourth. Um. Solid green flag. Just yep, stay there. Cautions. And it was just, I mean, just couldn't uneventful. Do couldn't do anymore. Uneventful. Yeah. Couldn't yeah, do just, just riding around almost. But they, they had me just a little bit off of, uh, I, I, it's like off of each corner. Me and Chad talked about it. The car actually felt really good. I just didn't have any speed. So. That's the kind of way we've been fighting, too. Um, and what's crazy, I mean, I mean, I feel like we're running times not far off what we ran last year, and all of a sudden it's not competitive anymore. Yeah. So. Um, so we're, we're probably going to pull the motor on ours. That's, we don't know. Um, I don't think the motor is necessarily bad per se. It just might need refreshing. Well, that motor's in that car. 
Um, I don't know how many races don't people know, have. Before don't, don't know the lap count on it. I have no clue. Uh, I do know it sat for a couple of years. Um, it's got a little bit of blow by, like it needs some valve seal stuff anyway, probably from where it's at. So we'll uh we'll pull it out. Yeah, it was good to get you started. You know. Oh yeah. yeah. Now now you know you feel like you got the car where it needs to be. Yeah. Time to a little like tune we, up, tune up on the motor. Yeah, I feel like we close on it. Um, we did we changed the spring the other day, which. That's the one thing I can say about the car is like it responds. It responds. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Every everything we're doing to it, it is responding to. So uh it's not um it's not out in left field. That's yeah, I mean yeah. So, so. I mean can't ask for much more than that out of the car. Uh so um we made some good changes. Chad come over there and helped us all day as always. Um made good changes on the car and you know, every once in a while you got to step over that line on it. No. Oh yeah, you got to figure out a you know exactly. You got to go up to the limit and over it. That's it. That's it. So we uh, I don't know. We we come out finished fourth. Um, we'll we'll get it ready. Uh, hopefully have it ready for next time. I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna pull the motor. Probably take it to our buddy Earl Ramey. Uh, let him go through it. Let him freshen it up. Do whatever it needs. Uh, get some. Be making some power. And yeah. See what we can do there. So, cool deal. Kind of, anyway, kind of what we're doing. I was fixing to say, what's a uh, what story on yours right now? Uh, just uh, with the one at the Motor Man still. I think I think a block's coming, supposedly, and uh, the one we have, we're gonna we're gonna change gear because uh, it just feels like we're screaming it too much. We're like, and looking at the the you know charts off the dyno, it, it looks like it should make horsepower better at lower RPM. So, so we're going we're gonna throw that at it. We've hey, changed uh, MSD box. A crate can be funny. Like That's that. what I'm saying. Every, everybody's telling us, you know, we're turning such and such and screaming it. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to try that. Good deal. Good deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We, uh, man, that we uh, teased a little bit there on Facebook. Coming on the show here, buddy of ours. Brennan Butterbean Queen. What's going on, man? Well, driving, it never stops. Hey, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 when, when you're good at it, you're good at it. I mean, you just got to do something. <laughs> hey, that's right. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I keep it between the lines here and uh, just happy to be on. At least, uh, at least I'm talking. If I ain't looking down, it's because I'm wheeling. You so. good, you good to go, man. Good to go. Well, man. First of all, congratulations coming off a uh, big Cars Tour win there to uh, Window World 125 there at North Wilkesboro, man. That is uh, that is cool. Man, it doesn't get much cooler than that, I swear. I uh, If you had to pick one to win this year, I think that was the one. I mean, I, I almost would say I'd rather win Wilkesboro than Martinsville. <laughs> um, I know it sounds crazy, but... At the same time, like, uh, where else can you ride the lift? I mean, Martinsville, you get the clock, and don't get me wrong, the clock is bad to the bone. But uh, right now, in the late model world, or even in the racing world, riding the lift is, uh, you know, not a lot of people have done it. So that's uh, something special. Yeah, I, I I hear you there, man, for sure. And that is uh that's cool. That was uh something cool back in the day at that track, and it, it, to see that come back, man, that's so awesome. Um, but touch on that what you were just talking about, man. Uh, Dale Junior talked about uh, on his podcast last week. Uh, spoke very highly of you as always. Um, uh, but he talked about North Wilkesboro. He basically they want to make that the uh, basically uh the Daytona for the Cars Tour. Um, and, and that's what I was about to ask is it's not the highest paying, uh, you got a race coming up this week, uh, that pays more, doesn't pay any more points, but I feel like I know, but, but to you, what is so special about North Wilkesboro that just makes it so cool to win at and so special? I, I think just this point in the time, uh, you see so many tracks close and it never come back. Uh, obviously the history, everybody says the history and, and that's true. The history of the track is just, you know, something special, but I mean, to see a track sit, I was born in 97. So this track has been 
sitting before I was born. You know, 96 was the last race, right? So, yep. I, basically, this track closed before I was born, and my whole life, it has been sitting. Um, and you don't normally see a track come back that's been that long because normally they're bulldozed by then. Um, I don't know. I just think, you know, what it went through to get back, the the history of the place, and then, you know, just – to be a part of a of the and and be there to support it, um, I, I don't know. The atmosphere just feels so different than a normal late model race, you know. Even and like even feels different in Martinsville. I mean, Martinsville always has that really really big, you know, big race feel. But I don't know. Wilkesboro is different. It, it's just it's special. I I can understand that a hundred percent. We were there. I wasn't able to make it this year, but we were there last year. And, uh, man, that's how it felt there to be. It was just so special and nostalgic, I guess it is. Um, so that is, uh, uh it's so awesome. So, such an awesome feeling around there. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about the race, man. Tell us how, uh, it, obviously, uh, you sit on pole, it, you lead a lot of laps, win the race, but let's go back practice. Uh, d- did you know you're going to have such a good car coming out of practice? So obviously for me, um, my first year with Lee Pulliam performance. Uh, first year working with my crew chief, Doug Powers, great friend of mine. Uh, I actually met him when Cliff Daniels, his brother-in-law, drove my car at Kenley, which ironically, Cliff won last night with Larson, <laughs> crew chief for Larson. So the brother-in-laws uh, both got the ride to lift this week. That's a cool little fact for everybody. Um, I knew – you know, Doug brings a hundred percent each week. It's, it's really, he has a crew chief to late model. So like, it's been all new to him trying to, trying to get acclimated. Um, obviously he works for store Haas at, on Harvick's car. He's been building his confidence and, and making great decisions every week. And then, you know, obviously Lee bringing us a good car to have and tune on is a, is a big part of it. But I don't know. First practice, we were pretty good. I mean, we were in the top 10 and you know, I'm like, man, I didn't forget how to drive it. Like first lap, I'm up to speed. So I'm like, hey, well, that's a plus. Um, and then second practice, we picked up and dropped 15 spots. So we picked up speed. We were like 23rd <laughs> or something. I'm like, like, man, but you know, a lot of people were putting tires on. So, got a little nervous because we were loose and then we moved the tires and we were tight and i'm like all right let's move the tires back and if we're loose we know it's tires like we know we're just fighting tires so we did that sure enough that was the case we're like all right we'll put our you know our new set on tomorrow on race day and we put them on in a mock run uh first practice on race day and we got kind of held up so we were like 12th or something. And I was like, man, I was like, I at least got another 10th or so in it. Um, didn't know I had a half a second in it. Because <laughs> uh, I ran a six a 60-something in practice and then ran a one in qualified. So uh, I knew it had speed in it. I just didn't know it had that much speed in it. So it's funny because qualifying, you know, I went out late, which always a plus. Uh, the spotter first lap goes top of the board and like I thought it felt good but you never know and he says top of the board I'm like dang I'm like well must have barely got for prior like I must have barely ran a three or something <laughs> and I come in and they're like dude you're gonna pull by like a quarter of a second I'm <laughs> like I'm like what because in the car store like that doesn't happen no like you're never more than like I, I mean I think you might see somebody maybe uh, a half a tenth at most faster than the second place guy, but like a quarter of a second, that's a, that's a lot. So I was like, man, like that's just an accomplishment right there. And I was, I, mean, I was pumped. <laughs> um, I don't know. That was crazy. But uh, are we getting into the race now? You'll be yeah, going, sure, or... man. Just keep rolling. So, yeah. Keep rolling. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, I had to go to the media center, do all the qualifying interviews and stuff, which was really, really cool. Um, and then, obviously, the race starts, and you're like, all right, it's a whole nother battle because, like, you can be on the pole and not win easily because it's strategy, you know, managing the race. 
Um, so I started a race leading, thought, <clears throat> thought like, okay, if they'll let me lead, I'll lead. But then Quapple wanted to go a little bit harder, so they got by. I don't know. We're running like third, and everybody pitted uh, for gas. So we lost track position because cars stayed out. And it's funny because I got myself all the way back up to third for the next caution. And I was like getting free in. But I was like, man, I think it's the tires. I don't think it's the car. But I was like, we can't pit yet. There's going to be another caution. We need to save our tires. Well, that was when Bobby and Quapple and Fryer pitted. So I'm like, well, you know. We might be in an advantage. We might have better tires, or we're going to have better tires than them, depending on how hard they ride. Well, we fired back off, and I went up there and got the lead on my old tires and and drove away. And I'm like, man, like, I hope this works out because we're going to come in and put tires on, and I'm already leading on old tires. And I was like, this car is just so good. And like I said, we put the tires on for that last little – you know, stint and man, we drove through there so quick. I was able to drive under them off a of four. So, so good. Uh, the car was just really good. And I, I swear they were trying to tell me to slow down when we were leading. And I started lifting at the flag stand. It, well, let me back it up. He goes, I need you to, I need you to slow down and, and let Millington be, you know, as quick as you. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so I lifted the flag stand cause he told me you're two tenths quicker than him. I lifted the flag stand. Oops, sorry. I don't know what I lifted the flag stand and the next slap by, he goes, I need you to slow down. You're three tenths quicker now. <laughs> I'm like, that's how you know you got a good car. Like you're like, I can't slow down anymore without being like, not even on the gas. <laughs> Just rolling, man. That's, that's, that, that, that's, that's a awesome. good feeling right there. <laughs> that's a. Then you're just hoping no caution. <laughs> yeah, I was I was watching it, man, and it was uh to me that I, I don't know how it felt to you, but watching it on flow racing there, man, that looked like an intense race. It was just you know uh, everybody was wanting the bottom, um, and it just looked it, it looked like you know people were willing to fight ha- tooth and nail for that bottom around there, and uh, it, it looked very intense. Did it feel that way? It was. Uh, the first 80 laps, I was bottoming out when I ran the top. So, like, I really had to be on the bottom or i just hit the ground and go up the hill. Um, so, that was a concern. Uh, the bottom seemed to be pretty dominant this year compared to last year. The top was a little bit good if you could pinch a guy down. Um, but I hope they don't repave it, man. That place, <laughs> if they repave it, it's going to ruin it. I mean, it's I know the cup car, the cup race last night. They said it was boring. I get it. Larson dominated, which I'm. That's who I was pulling for. Oh, me but, too. <laughs> but you know they were hooked up, and and it, and the, another fact is like you got me, Bubba Pollard, and Larson all won this week. I don't know about Augie or Augie Grill. I guess that's his name. But all three of us run dirt late model. Yeah, and we all three won, and I was like, maybe there's something to it, the grip level, you know? I I don't know. But. I was I was literally just about to ask that, um, man, uh, it, with that grip level and 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 running dirt the way that you also do, I, do you? I mean, can you sit there and say you you think there might be something to that? Because looking at it from the outside looking in, it's like, man, there's definitely something to that because all the guys that are that are, you know, consistently running dirt, uh, whether it be late model sprints or whatever, it seems like late models a little more, it seem how to, or seem like they figure out how to really turn, especially there, it seemed like y'all could really figure out how to turn off the corner. Yeah, I think uh, dirt racing really helps you feel it in your butt. <laughs> and, like, I know it sounds funny, but, like, when you can feel a race car with your butt, that right there is is what wins races because you can feel how much load you're putting on your tires. Uh, You can feel how much grip you've got to your foot, to the tire. You can feel when you're putting too much load on it and you're ripping rubber, you know, ripping the grip off of them. So I swear it's helped me. 
Good, 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 good. I, I love watching it, man. So, so, uh, for, uh, again, congratulations, man, because that is a uh, that's a cool win. That is a, a so awesome to see. Uh, it was awesome to see you ride the elevator, to see how excited you were there in Victory Lane, man. That was a uh, that was one of the coolest things I watched all weekend. I I love seeing you do it, and and you just being a buddy of mine. I, I was. I told everybody. I told. I texted you right after the race, uh, and I was like, "Man, I called it last. I called it on the show last week, and uh, I did. I, I said, I said, I think Butterbean's going out there. I said, I think that's his type of track, old wore out track. I said, I think he's got it. Um, so uh, Appreciate I, that. I was so excited to see you get a win there, man. That was that was so cool. Man, I, it means a lot. I hope I, uh, I hope I didn't take too long to text you back. I, I <laughs> had no service. That was a concern, and then just it's been crazy but um i've tried to get back with everybody still trying to catch up it's been really overwhelming but i'm thankful for it uh it's really cool to see the the reach out and the support from you know everybody I, and everybody that they just know how big it, it is and what it meant to win and i think a lot of people saw my victory lane and and realized like what it meant to exactly. me um, as a guy that's trying to make it uh, in the sport uh, with, you know, not the youngest cat, but still trying to make it off of, off of not having that kind of money that you need to make it. Um, and we're not going to give up. I mean, we're, we're still digging at it. We're chipping away at it, but I feel like to, to do, to make it, you have to, you have to perform. And you got to perform when the stage is like that. And and I think that, you know, if we look back on it one day and I do make it, this might have been one of those nights that that propelled my career to a turning point. So, uh, you know, oh, Siri's trying to talk to me. But <laughs> um, I literally you know, I ran, what, seven races with Lee and won three big races. Yeah. So uh, and, and had a chance to win uh Florence again and the cars tour and you know ran a top five at ace and you know we struggled at hickory that was our only race this year that we really had a bad night and you know other than that been a contender uh which is a huge confidence booster for me just you know new team um knowing that how good lee is but like I was just all I wanted to do when I went over there was win one race and now I've won multiple and it just makes me feel like, okay, like I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and I, and I'm doing everything I can to make it and having a good time while I'm doing it. But at the same time, uh, I'm making the most of the opportunity and, and not letting it just slip away. That's awesome, man. Well, uh, you talked about how you've been competitive at uh, every track you've been at this year. And uh, speaking of that, I'm going to look forward to this week, uh, 30000 to win at Tri-County for the Old North State Nationals. Uh, tracks that – Tri-County, to me, looks totally different than Wilkesboro. You know, the, the new pavement in the corner. Um, I mean, I've never been on either one of them. But it, and watching last year, it was a, it was a wild race. So uh, how are you feeling going into Tri-County? Never been there. <laughs> so, uh, I, I've been studying some film. I really hope that I unload and I'm working on, like, I'm up to speed quick, which I think I will be. I mean, we've raced in enough places to, to pick up on it. You know, hopefully I got some magic like I did when I went to Goodyear. I'd never been to Goodyear and we won. So, uh, I really hope if I, I think I'm going to be good because the funny thing is, is like everybody, thinks i'm the guy for low grip tracks but like i always thought i was better on high grip <laughs> tracks for the longest time so like um well, you were you were just langley. wrong you were just wrong okay all right no, i was kidding <laughs> yeah i didn't win i didn't win at langley for years and i was like man i need to go race at dominion or sobo or <laughs> and then you know i've been you know running good at langley and and other stuff which i'm excited about that one coming up in two weeks that's a hometown i don't have to stay in a hotel after that one um that's gonna be a busy weekend for me i'm gonna run i'm gonna run the steel block bandit race on friday night and then cars that'll be dirt race on friday night yep. and then back to langley for the car store race on saturday so i'll be all good and jacked up by the time i get back in the asphalt car i'll be ready to 
ripped a cushion or something. <laughs> that, that's awesome. Our, our buddy Jim Long over there with Steel Block Bandits, man, they do a good job too. I, I love watching that series. They are great there's, job. There's some good, there's some good guys too. Really good guys. That's that's cool. Well, man, uh, I, the only thing I need to know next is, uh, have you found out where the uh, the local Waffle House is there by Tri County? <laughs> <laughs> not yet i uh i'll probably do a little bit of uh, um research <laughs> uh, i'll try not to run somebody over that'd be a bad day <laughs> no, I don't uh, do that. to the park to the house but uh, um yeah you know good thing about waffle house is they're normally on about every street every exit so <laughs> We should be able to find this one and hopefully uh, break the thirty grand check in there. It's funny because I literally just took the trophy to check out of the back seat last <laughs> night because I came home. I didn't even come home. I came back to the dirt shop and then we went back on the road and I never even had time to take it to the house. So I went all the way back to County Line and still had the moonshine still in the back seat. I told everybody I had to check blocking it. Cause I was running shine and I didn't want to get caught. <laughs> Modern day Junior Johnson, there, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, man, uh, I, I, have you have you reached out to Waffle House yet? I mean, I, I I'm gonna have to send them a message for you. I mean, I think it's time to get a Waffle House sticker on the car. I mean, I, just, I think it's I think it's appropriate at this point. <laughs> I, I, we're we're definitely trying to, but I think everybody should help me and go ahead and push for it. Tell them. That, that's right. That's right. Tell them to sign me. That's what I'm talking about. All right, man. Well, I know you got a lot more to do. You got the media tour to this afternoon, apparently. So, uh, <laughs> so today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. And I, I am, I'm, I am thankful that you, uh, you're so cool to uh, jump on here with us, man. It's, it's always fun to have you on. Always fun to talk to you, buddy. Um, thanks, thanks for having me, man. Don't ever, don't ever be afraid. Hit me up. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't care what time of night is. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, buddy. Take it easy, and uh, best of luck this weekend, and uh, we'll be pulling for you, man. All right. Y'all have a good night. Thanks again. Take it easy, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, winner of the uh, Window World 125 there at North Wilkesboro in the Cars Tour this past week, Brennan Butterbean Queen. Man, He's on a roll. He is. He uh, he uh, took it to the house there at Florence in the, in the 400 last oh, yeah. year um in november and it's all seemed like it's been uh a hasn't slowed down since. no has not slowed down i mean as he is a contender every week um him and carson have put on some battles even at florence when we were over there at the first right. this year in the Carson oh, yeah. tour that was a really good race really really good race uh and uh, what i like about brendan is he's not afraid to put a fender to you no i, I like that but what is so cool about him is I've seen people put a fender to him. He don't get mad about it. He no. just, that's, he, that's he, racing. He, he takes it in and gives it out. Yeah. Which is, so, I mean, that's that's he, racing, man. He's a good racer. He's definitely good, good. good to watch. and He's, he's going to be tough. He's good to watch. He's got personality. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love personality. Yes, um Because it, it, there's a lot of racers that like that anymore. Mm. Uh, yeah. We, uh, now, I mean, there's some that have more than enough, and we'll get to talk about that here in a little <laughs> while. But, uh, but uh, anyway, thank you to... Uh, Butterbean there jumping on with us. Uh, it's always cool to have him on. Been since been since the four hundred since I had him on. Well, I think I got him out the track, but since he's been on the show, so uh, yeah. cool over here. Connor's over here. I think getting they, all nervous breaking. Yeah, breaking I always gotta have something. <laughs> That's which I do the same thing yeah. all the time. I think <laughs> the car's starting to have like some kind of triple crown. Mar that would be Mar cool. Martinsville, Wilkesboro, and, I and Florence. There's, I mean, Florence. There, South Boston. You know, there's, there's a, any number of tracks you could. We're, we're partial to Florence. Yeah, say yeah. I'll, say, I'll say Florence, all, Florence three times, but I think that'd be cool. I, I think it'd be cool if um, it wasn't a points race necessarily, but have a triple crown and the 400 be the wrap-up for it. It'd be like a Cars Tour sanctioned race. Be a wrap-up for it. That would be something. At the 400. Yeah. And have some kind of bonus, you know, yeah, for, exactly. for for winning each one, or if you went two, or if you went, you know, if you went all three, basically have a mini series, kind of, I mean, you know, kind of like the Winston Million. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. But, uh, Dale Jr. making heaven. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we can't do this any week without our good friends over at 
Earl Ramey Racing Engines, like I said earlier, guys, I'm probably going to be pulling a motor out this week, uh, maybe taking it up there to him. I need to uh, get it freshened up. And, uh, guys, if, you, uh, if you're if you looking to make some horsepower in your car, hit up, check out our buddy, Earl Ramey. Earl Ramey Racing Engines, uh, some of the best horsepower on the market you will get. So uh, hit up, talk to Earl. Tell me sent you over there. Get some time. When you get all that, that new power plant in there, get some time on a chassis dyno. There's a lot you can learn on a chassis dyno. Uh, about your car, about anything in general. Uh, okay. Especially when you put a motor on dyno, put yeah. it in the car, then put it on a chassis dyno. See what they're doing to the load. And, exactly. uh, that's huge. I mean, that's that's a, such a big advantage. Such cannot even be understated. Yes, exactly. So uh, head over to Earl Ramey Racing Engines. Tell me sent you up there. Um, and... uh. I'll probably tell him, hey, here soon, in person. <laughs> but uh, also, one thing he's probably going to put on, or t- advise you to put on there, is some good ProFab headers. Guys, ProFab headers and exhaust, some of the best in the business. Uh, don't matter if you're talking late models, talking uh, dirt side, talking street stock, uh, even the cup NASCAR, stuff. NASCAR, yes, sir. Uh, all the way up to NASCAR, all the way to IndyCar. Any car, really? Yeah, I did not know that. That's pretty. Oh, you need to see some of that stuff. I got some pictures of some stuff that can't get out there. I can't show you guys, but uh, <laughs> but no, nah, we Classified. went toured. We went and toured the uh, ProFab. Um, actually, on the way up to North Wilkesboro last year, uh, we stopped and toured the um, ProFab uh, shop there. Uh, f- saw it from the state that it comes in, uh, the raw materials to the time it leaves out. Uh, see all the uh, IndyCar stuff. I, I couldn't show it on camera. <laughs> um, we saw the area. We couldn't show everything on camera because, I mean, it is... is, I, is it's probably high tech. I oh, mean, it just, is just insane. Yeah, I bet. It is insane, and and that's what I'm saying. If you're getting products from a, uh, from a facility that can also uh, produce uh, products for IndyCar... You know it's going to be... Doing pretty good. That's good it's stuff. IndyCar, I mean, uh, it's very high tech. Absolutely. So... Uh, there's a lot of technology in that cup. There is now too. I mean, everything there is. Uh, they're looking for the best flows, the best horsepower that these hitters can make. Uh, torque numbers, everything, and uh, they team up a lot of times with our good friend Earl, Earl Ramey, and uh, he tests a lot of that stuff for them on the on like dirt side and stuff like that. Does know what them things are going to do. So uh, head over to Profab Hitters and Exhaust, and they can be bought at our. Wonderful friends of SRI Performance, who uh, I put a picture up earlier. Um, just let y'all know, SRI Victory Lane in the Cars Tour. Oh, really? uh, everybody gets a SRI hat for winning. Awesome. A blue SRI hat that you can't go buy. Wow. Winner. Exclusive. Exclusive. To a winner's cars hat. Tour. That's pretty cool. So I uh, saw our buddy there, Brennan Queen, with one on this past week over at uh, North Wilkesboro. Um, so head over to SRI Performance, guys. Um, anything you need for your car, if you want to buy those ProFab hitters over there, they got them. Go get them from there. Uh, anything else, guys. Um, I'm just trying to think. There's so much stuff that I've ordered from there here lately. <laughs> I don't care if you're looking for quick change gears. I don't care if you're looking for uh, uh, any kind of fasteners. They supply their whole the whole NASCAR industry pretty much with any fasteners, uh, nuts, bolts, rivets everything that they need for the entire nascar wow. world pretty much so uh uh I, I i don't care if you're looking for performance parts you're looking for gauges you're looking for anything anything racing related some things yeah. not even racing related. they don't got it they don't make it, <laughs> it per- exactly if they don't got it they don't make it uh exactly so uh so head over to sri performance guys and uh get all the parts that you need for your ride today get on that website www.sriperformance new and improved website so easy to navigate so just go check it out uh when you go to check out put in that pr- a promo code c bone t n c is in chicken b o n e one zero get 10 percent off at your time of checkout same deal over at Stock Car Steel and Aluminum. Uh, some some of the best materials that you can buy, money can buy, period. Uh, top of the line materials, um, specialty materials. Also, your everyday painted aluminum sheets uh, that you uh, dirt guys always need. Uh, we, I wish we could throw just a painted aluminum sheet cut out. You know, That'd wheels. be nice. Uh, we just throw that up there on the side. 
Ours is a little yep, too gotta, formed for yep. that. <laughs> yeah, that might not work out. It, too might, good. it don't work out good. We'll for try us. it though. Maybe you should try it. Can we run dirt bodies on on <laughs> asphalt? I see some of them. I've seen a couple. There, there's a four cylinder. There's runs. that. There's that outlaw series that runs in Florida. It's yep, kind of yep, kind of like yep. that. They are very much like that. So, no, I like maybe that. we should start that. I like that. show it. Well, show, well, show it with it one day. Well, see. remember, I don't know what's that been. Probably ten years ago now. There was uh, they, the Challenger series, Charger series. There was a lot of guys went through running the modified bodies. Yep. I think Chad's got one in his Chad shop. Chad does have one yep. in his shop. Um, our buddy, my buddy Bozy Lane, they ran one back in, which I think uh, one of them was one Chad had. But uh, anyway, um, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, head over to Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, guys, and get all the uh, materials you need. If you're building roll cages, building bodies, building whatever you need that you need special material for, Head over to Stock Car Steel and Aluminum and get hooked up with it today. Um, let's see here. Uh, real quick. Um, speaking of SRI and Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, they got behind our good friend that was on here last week, uh, Derek McGrew Jr. running, making his ARCA Series debut, uh, ARCA East debut yep. at Flat Rock yep. Speedway this past Saturday evening. How'd it go? Um, I, I really I forgot to forgot to check. I knew he was running it and all. Yeah, he um the car he was running, Rise Motorsports, uh best qualifying effort the car has ever had. Right, well, tenth uh, place qualifying. That's and, uh, good deal. Good. It yeah. was good. And ran tenth. Oh, uh, got spun twice. <laughs> wow. Got spun. I mean, got dumped. Um, guys actually you can come over and apologize about it because I mean it was just a racing deal, but somebody else's fault. But drove from the back, back up to tenth. Awesome. Um, so, first time ever on asphalt. Really? First time ever racing on asphalt. He pra- he practiced car one day over at Hickory. Um, that's been it. Might need to have a new profession. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey. So, I but want to uh, tell him that 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 was really cool. I was glad to see it. Um, and I, I'll even throw this out there. It was on Facebook, so I can throw it out there. Uh, the car owner, um, even come out on his personal Facebook page. And and he was basically pleading with other ARCA dra- uh, owners, um, and it, we'll we'll lift up our buddy Derek McGrew Jr. here. Um, but they said this kid's got talent, got and it. he does. He, yeah. he does. He's he's got it. He he's. I've said it for years. He's he's got the 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 it factor for racing. Uh, he's just one of them that's able to adapt to whatever he's in quickly. Um, but basically, car owner there said, look, he said, he said, I, I, I might make some people mad, he said, but he's got more talent than our car has capability. Yeah. I mean, um, that's a fair, exactly. fair thing to say most of the time. Exactly. Um, and, and I thought that was very that's, cool that's of him very, to say that. Well, I, I, but, absolutely. But he uh, basically said, if there is any team out there that is looking for talent over dollars. This your guy. This your guy. He said, I'd love to help That's him awesome. get in. I hope you find, I hope he gets, I'm sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he has anything else lined up, but I'm sure if he can, well, if he can put a couple more like uh, outings like that together, I'm sure he will have. Exactly. They got about three or four, I think four, maybe, yeah, about four more races lined up with Rise Motorsports, which is really cool. Really, really, really good to get you start with. And hey, in that series, I think, yeah, you still sometimes got to bring a little check with you uh, for some of those rides, but there's, there's a few cars out there that they're like, hey, you can drive. Let's put you in. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool. So I hope to, uh, we hope to see him do great in him. Climb that ladder. Exactly, because uh, <laughs> it's 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 such a crazy world for him. Yeah. Jumping about just like just like Butterbean there, going back and forth between asphalt and uh, dirt. There, I really think just like Butterbean said, uh, I think dirt that, really groomed some people for. I think that, car I think, control. Yeah, I think they work together really good. Yes, I, I think one helps the other both ways. To be honest with you, so we gotta get dirt cars. Coming. Basically, is what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing too. <laughs> let's get let's get us a dirt street stock. And let's do fun. it. Oh God, them things are expensive. <laughs> nah, maybe, I had one. Maybe, I just sold it. Well, maybe what's the the uh, stock V8? That's what I had. I oh. just sold it. Really? You yeah, had one sold, yeah, I had one. I never raced it. Wow. Um, I I took in uh I had it sitting at the house and was gonna was gonna um. Put it all together and you know all that fun stuff and never got around. Well, to it. we ended up getting a legend car. Um, so I was like, well, we over on asphalt now again. <laughs> and then I got thought about side. just putting it together and running the 
was it thunder the thunder and lightning at Florence? Yeah, I thought yeah. about running it, and if the ru- the rules were somewhat close enough to begin with, I was like, I could kind of. I'm sure they would. I'm sure they bend it a little both. bit. Yeah. I, well, I could do it on asphalt, then turn around, and put it on dirt. They were fairly similar, and I, I thought about it. And I was like, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, if, if for that not to be your, your yeah, main thing, yeah, exactly. I was like, it, well, I, I thought about putting land in it. I don't know. Yeah, it was just gonna be a lot. Um, so I don't know. But yeah. Maybe, maybe when we get rich, we'll, we'll come around and do that. Exactly. <laughs> One of these days, we'll just. We'll, Connor, Connor's gonna get it big. And, World of Outlaws late model, just yeah, out of nowhere. Buy us one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, um, congratulations, our buddy Derek McGrew Jr. Uh, race life for real. It's not just a race; it's a lifestyle, guys. As they always say, um, that that's that's super cool. Uh, glad to see it. I uh, went back home. Uh, I guess Sunday. Uh, turned around, ran a race last night. I can't remember where they were at. One is. He uh, finished fairly decent in the main, too. Um, so that's... He's got it. He's got it. He's Any, got it. Anytime, anywhere. That's what I'm talking about. So that's, that's cool. That's cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. Also, I want to thank, as you see back here, our good buddies over at Dixie Made. Guys, if you're over here in the Florence area, head over just by the flea market on the outside of it there. Uh, head over see our friends at Dixie Made. Yeah, it, so many brands there, cool brands of uh, what I like to call Southern apparel, uh, I guess we can say. I'd say that's a good way to describe it. Good way to describe it. Uh, 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 I can't <laughs> even talk right now. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's see. It, it, it's a girl thing. Uh, gun concealment bags. Girly Girl Original. Sassy Frass. Simply Southern coolers, bags, backpacks, whatever you're looking for, or whatever you're in the market for. Some of the coolest apparel, best looking stuff out there. Uh strutting cotton. I mean just uh so many brands. That's just to name a few of the brands they have in there. Uh y'all go check out I know they got Drake, um so many uh, cool stuff. So uh summertime's coming. Everybody needs some new t shirts. So y'all head over to Dixie Made. Check them out over there. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Just over here in on the east side of Florence. Right off I-95. Right off I-95. X- I don't ever think about that. Exit 170. Yeah, I know. 170. And I know. You live over here. Yeah. So. I guess it's... Yeah, I, I never I, think I about that. Of, yeah. And when I think about off 95, I think about towards the mall for some reason. Even though that's more off 20. I mean, it's off 95. That's, that's at the conjunction. Or yeah, I guess that's because I can see it from there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while you're over there, hey, swing by Bucky's. We got a Bucky's in Florence. Yep. We're, we're kind, famous. kind of a big deal. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I stopped at two Bucky's in one day. Not long really? Ago. Yeah. Me and Kayla went on vacation. I stopped at uh, Bucky's here in Florence. Got me some beaver nuggets. Uh, have you had the beaver nuggets yet? I think uh, my parents have. I don't think my parents what? love them. You, it gets you some of the uh, cinnamon beaver nuggets. You like yeah. cinnamon in anything? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm fine with it. Them things are good. Have you ever ate the cinnamon twist from uh, Taco Bell? It's been a while. We're going to have to get you out more often. <laughs> He comes in here all healthy, like drinking water all no, the time. And... No, no. <laughs> Not exactly. How do you eat at a racetrack? I don't know how you do it. <laughs> no, no, I can. I'm not a healthy eater. <laughs> I can't by any means. You just run it off constantly. I guess I don't know what I do. It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll probably catch. I was up like with that me. one time yeah. ago, years ago. Don't work out too well now. <laughs> nah. Um, but yeah, they got some. Uh, check out, check out boogies. They're, they don't sponsor us at all. I wish they would. They, I wish they supply us with beaver nuggets every yeah. week. Right. I'd be that, all that. right. Put them on the show forever. Beaver nuggets and a brisket sandwich. I'd yeah. be good to go. <laughs> Um, no, nah, that's good stuff. Um, but uh, cool, 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 cool. Also, our good friends over at Rev Max Racing Apparel, guys, head over to Rev Max Racing, check them out on Facebook, Instagram, all those good places. Cool, cool, cool looking race apparel. And when I mean race apparel, I mean our fire suits, our gloves, all that cool stuff. Uh, I mean, just colors from everywhere, all kind of crazy stuff. I got, I got, I got some bright blue gloves with some. Green on See those it. hands in there swatting flies. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably what it looked like. <laughs> no, nah, this week they were kind of just sitting there. I was yeah. like, all right, that, that's pretty good, pretty <laughs> good, pretty good. No, nah, but uh, go check out our friends at Rev Max Racing, guys. They are uh, top of the line, top of the line stuff based right here in South Carolina. Um, able uh, custom fitted uh, fire suits, uh, 
S S F I rated uh dual layer suits. Um I mean no junk. No junk at all. I mean it's top of the line stuff. So go check out Rev Max Racing and uh tell them we sent you over there. Tell them we sent you. But uh cool. All right. Well what we got next you, you know uh I guess we got- y'all see me to keep looking, I reach over here and click. I actually made notes. We're at work. We're moving up. I'm moving up in the room. I mean, I made notes. I, I made notes before. Yeah. Long before Connor came and <laughs> I quit making notes. I don't know why. It's it just, just, it just off the fly. Off the fly. Just go off the cuff. It still was off the cuff. I mean, yeah. cause I, I made these notes like five minutes before the show. So yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, good enough. I just want to roll with it. Roll, roll in it. But, uh, but no, I made notes. Like, got truck race winner up next. I do have truck. I do have trucks on there next. I, I figure we go in chronological order. There you go. Of the, of the week, how about that? I didn't even, I didn't even realize. You, yeah, I, I, there you go. You got to That's what I typically it. try to do. I, well, I say that I hit our race our race yeah. first, and then everything else. That I makes sense. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess it works. I, I reckon. So uh, anyway, did you watch truck race? I watched a little bit of it. I ain't gonna watch much of it. I was at truck. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was going to for while it was on. I, th- I thought it was. I thought it was a night race to be honest with you. And then I looked up and they were about done. I thought it was a night race too. Yeah, I was going. I was going to watch it when I got home. And I, I got home and it was like. Yeah, I don't know Tyler why that would a night race. Yeah, uh, it seemed like it would have been a perfect more opportunity for. Yeah, night. I, I, I don't think night racing is looked at the same way as it used to be. When I was younger, um, Charlotte came around with the lights. Uh, Richmond, uh, Bristol, and that was some of the only yeah. night racing we had back in the day. Well, Charlotte kind of started that for everybody, would, and everybody wanted lights. Um. And I remember I was over at the night that they turned the lights on at Darlington. Really? Uh, yeah, they had a little, uh, who was it came over there? Was it Jeff Gordon? I think it was Jeff Gordon came over there. And they wouldn't let him, they said it was because they let him go out there on the track and he was supposed to run under 10 laps. That's all they told him. You can't run more than 10 laps. He went out there two laps at a time. They come in and adjusted the car. Went in there two more laps. They basically they were making mock qualifying runs. Oh wow! <laughs> at a, just a, a, free, a free test. That's session. all it was. They made it a free test session. They got. I th- they they ran ten laps. Ran ten, two at a time. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, uh, Darlington got lights. Mile and a half tracks now. Yeah, then once lights. they figured out how to do it, everybody started throwing them up. Everybody started throwing them up. Um. I, I guess we'll talk about that real quick. Uh, do you think that night racing somewhat has lost its luster? Uh, probably not. Not not with there's me. Not a night race. Not in with Richmond me. now. Yeah, not a night race in Richmond. Um, yeah. Shoot, I mean, it's. I think the short I, I track. I thought it was. I guess. Well, I mean, I mean, you think it's still somewhat a big deal. It's a big deal. Martinsville got lights. Yeah. A year or two ago, but new LED it, lights. Even that's kind of you know nobody. It's just there now. Um, I, I still like a night race. I still, I think the cars look better on the lights. See, I, and I guess it's just me. Uh, well, I don't think it's just me. I think it's a lot of people. I relate uh, short track racing, whether we're talking North Wilkesboro, Martinsville, uh, even though Martinsville's new at it, um, Bristol, a um, bunch of different short tracks. Um I relate that with night yeah. racing. Yeah, I don't. I, Even I, though North Wilkesboro just got lights, yeah, yeah, they didn't. They never ran night. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but you just think about it. Every, every racetrack we go to now on a Saturday night, you know, is, is under the lights. You know, you don't right. you, you don't race locally during the day, right? For the most part, exactly. I don't. I don't like to anyway. I don't either. I don't like day racing. I don't know. You know, it's not feel. I right. guess it don't feel right. But I guess I'm just one of the people that I want to be cooled down just a little yeah. bit. Regardless. It, it, it just sets the tone. I mean, it does. It does. At least, you know, starting in the late evening and then when you roll off, it's it's dark. You know? I was kind of upset. I mean, I like getting out of track early after you've been there all day yeah. to some extent. But like even this past week, we rolled out and the sun was still up and it was that awful time of day that I started coming out of turn two and I was like, God, I wish I had to put my tinted shield on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Yeah. It, during the middle of the day, don't bother me because we got a roof above us. I'll keep a clear shield on now where you used to. Well, in Legend Car, I, I use a tennis shield way more than I use it. Really? Yeah. And, and I don't, I don't, I'm weird like that, I guess. Um, But it was at that perfect level coming out of turn two, going down the back stretch at Dillon this past week that it was right in your eye. That's how the Legend Car seemed like every time we go for a heat race, it's right yeah. in three or four, yeah. right in the middle of three or four. Well, that's how it was. It was kind of coming over four. 
kind of pointing down the back stretch this yeah. week, and it was just like, ah, oh, that stinks. So that's how we drove pretty much the whole race this yeah. week. Just quitting. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I'm with you on that. Uh, I like the I like night racing. I like uh like to be able to chill out with that. Um, but anyway, so but uh, North Wilsboro on the race. point got cool lights. They re- got really co- after the uh, after Butterbean won. Yep. They got the new LED lights uh, with the up lighting under them, so the l- poles light up. Uh, the flag condition. Whether really? If it's green I, flag. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, if it's green flag, the up lights are green, yellow. That's that's, that's a nice are, little touch. It is. It is. Uh, LED lighting, just like uh, williams Bryce Stadium now. They got the same lighting uh, that the NASCAR tracks have. Cool. Um, so that's cool. They can actually change color. Do little light everything. shows and all. Yeah. Kind of like Martinsville does. Exactly. exactly. williams Bryce, like you said. Exactly. Same way. Um, so that's cool. Um, but anyway, truck race. Day, day race. Um, I didn't see much about it. I mean, I saw there's a green white checkered. Looks like old Larson had a covered. Yeah, he had him covered. He he definitely had him covered. Uh, there was some some. I think it was Saint. It's so weird because it seems like to me the trucks must be. I don't. I don't know. I've never driven a truck. Um, but I can say because I, I guess we've driven late model s cars. Um, but the trucks must be closer to a late model than any other car out there. The uh, reason I say that is because pretty much everything that happened in the Cars Tour race was the same type way they were driving in the truck race. Really? Fighting for the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, looked, it, was... it looked very similar. Similar type racing. And maybe that's just the people in it. The I drivers. A lot of drivers yeah. are probably coming fresh off of exactly. late model experience. Exactly. It could be. Um but it just it, it looked more similar to that to me than it was anything. Um, yeah, I can't really agree or disagree. I, I didn't watch it for. I didn't see. I never. I, I, I never really highlights. See, yeah, I, yeah, highlights. I, I didn't really see a long run. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, from what I've seen from short tracks, it's kind of like I said, it's probably about true. Yeah. Um. So, but anyway, uh, Kyle Larson went out there and showed him up, smoked him, smoked him in the truck race. Uh. It, Not much that's been about. a long time since he's. I mean, uh, he drove a truck. Where did he drive a truck? Did he drive it to Darlington? That's, no, he drove it to Phoenix. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I don't remember the last time he drove. A truck. I remember him driving the the dirt derby at Eldor. Yeah, a couple of years, but I don't know. I don't know if he's driven one since. He might have driven one. He might have. I don't, I don't remember it. Um. So anyway, congratulations to him. Uh. So moving on to the All Star Day, I guess we'll say. Um. I, it, we, I still call him a late model standout, even though he's been running the Xfinity race there. Uh, Josh Berry, uh, him and Ty Gibbs put on a uh, a show. I thought it was that open, I, and and I saw a hundred laps. I was like, wow, that's not, that's not a long time for a a, a prelim like, or you know a heat race basically open. It but, is, uh, but you got to figure, you know, what three quarter mile track? Yeah, I guess they're clicking off laps pretty good, or less, whatever it is. Yeah, clicking off pretty pretty quick, but uh. Yeah, it looked like Ty was going to run away with it for a while until McDowell came back around. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. I, th- I think Ty had the fastest car. Um, it looked like he... I don't know why. Ty has actually... Uh, he's done better. He's kind of chilled out. He's a chilled bit. out yeah. a little bit because I think they finally told him, look, you're not going to finish many races. You keep driving like you are. Um, and he, he's calmed down and... But there's still these moments. He, if he sees the front, he's yeah. doing everything. And I get I that as a racer. If you, if you get bumped back to fourth and you also don't make the race with the best car, that's going to be a bad... Yeah, but bad when you're in the first quarter of the race yeah. still. <laughs> yeah. I want to throw it three wide into, into yeah, three. Yeah, it just seemed like a little early to throw that. I mean, I get it. Um, but it seemed like a little early to, to be diving in there like that. Um, and some people are talking jump about McDowell, though. Uh I didn't see where he done anything wrong. Yeah. I mean, McDowell, you know, he lost a chance for he was running in a transfer spot when he got they, booted. I did hear Denny Hamlin on his podcast uh, saying that basically, I don't think he was saying that McDowell needed to uh, be penalized or anything, but because of what Denny got fined for, they said he manipulated the race at Phoenix, yeah. wrecking Chastain. Well. Ross said on the radio, <laughs> it sounded like Days of Thunder, change my tires. <laughs> um, 
and they changed tires to fix him up. He was multiple laps down, knowing he never had a chance to get back up there. But basically, he went out. He said, change my tires and fix it, and I'm going to go out there and fix this. Yeah. It's basically what he said on radio. Um, so he, <laughs> was like say, he was saying totally that he was, was all still broke. He oh, was yeah. crawling he, around he there. He knew what he was doing. I yeah. mean, he was going out there, and when he didn't ever hit tie but he, made he forced it really, him down the inside wall yeah, exactly made him bounce around whatever made made it hard for him um is that manipulating a race i don't know um i think i think nice car is happy to have a little bit of excitement in it yeah at least um so anyway uh After, so josh berry goes on to win the race tie finishes second two fastest cars that were out yep. there definitely made it um i guess it didn't amarola at one time like he yeah. might challenge him but I think he burned it up. I think, well, I, I think Ty just was the best car, and yeah. he, he got knocked off rhythm. Yeah. McDowell came around, but once he once he got back clicking off laps, I think it was just nothing he could do about it. No, nah, no, nah, he was good. So, um, so they advanced. Uh, Noah Gregson took a beat up tow up car and advanced on the fan vote. Um, I, I'm not big on the fan vote. Uh, I'm kind of the same way. It is what it is. Yeah, I, I liked it a few years ago when Josh Wise made it in because everybody yeah. voted for him. I thought that was funny. <laughs> well, uh, well, and and you wonder then is like, did they really vote for him, or did they just did they vote for the ones that won or finished second that was going to advance anyway, and they just fell back to third place at that <laughs> point? You know, um, I don't know. So, uh, and I kind of wonder the same thing with Noah. Yeah, did Noah really get it, or did well? I I would look, be, look into the field. I didn't. There, there's not many back there that have a huge fan base josh berry does josh berry does josh berry does because of the junior connection i think he would have um past that i mean he's the only one with a a polarizing personality i guess saying that noah noah had buttons made he was passing them out everybody vote for noah Noah, which was funny um i guess he's trying to get back on the uh the better look (laughs) now after he uh (laughs) Got it by Chastain there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so anyway, to the race, uh, to the to the uh, feature, I guess we'll say. Um, Cal kind of uh, took off with it. Yep, for the most. Part. It like I mean, just he he said he uh, wasn't good in heat, um, but they changed whatever everything. They did. wasn't good on practice. Yeah, whatever they did. Like, it, it cut the center good, and he was rolling off. That's what, and, I, and I'm wondering. I, I, I even, I talked to Sterling earlier. He, uh, I ain't even said why he wasn't here this week. His his daughter has a uh, a uh, gym meet this week. Uh, oh, so, cool deal. she was a uh, gymnastics. Blakely got a gymnastics deal. And also, real quick, real quick, side note. Congratulations to uh, Cole. Uh, Sterling's son, he is on the eight U uh, baseball team. Tra- he well, let me take this back. He was not on the travel ball team. He got asked uh, last week if he would play a tournament with the local eight U travel ball team because they were down a couple players mm-hmm. needed somebody to fill in. Well, he played. Made a, made a good impression. They won a championship. <laughs> <laughs> wow! They won. They won. They had a tournament. Won a championship. Uh, got rings and everything. So, cool deal. So. Congratulations to Cole there. Um, but anyway, uh, so I, I was telling Sterling earlier, I, we were talking a little bit about the race, and uh, I said, and I'm wondering if it's kind of like what Butterbean was talking about. I said, it looked like to me on TV that Kyle just wasn't overdriving the corner. It looked like to me he almost backed up the corner a little bit, Rolled it through the center and just drove it straight off the bottom. Well, I mean, he like he had a car that could do that. Yeah, most some of them just you know didn't. And, and I wonder though if that's a and it's so hard to do. I, I have a tough time with it anyway. I don't know about you, but if I'm behind somebody, I feel like I'm really chasing them. It's hard for me to back up a corner. Oh yeah, it's. It, I feel like I need to drive yeah. a little harder. I'm not. I'm problem. not breaking until they break. You know exactly. Exactly, and if you can get it in your head, look, I can back this corner up and be faster through it, which is so hard to do, so hard to think, slow down, and be faster. Um, it, it just looked to me that way. Cause if if you can turn and drive straight off corner, is always oh, better. Yeah. He was than he was pointed to towards the inside wall. Yes. And so I mean, it just, just just had him beat. Just the best car, and he drove it. You know, he drove it the best way possible. But what is so cool about that to me is. 
he was able to figure out one of the oddest lines oh, yeah. I've ever seen, which is, that is what makes a driver to me, is I would go out there, I'd probably put the, I'd roll in the corner, arc, arc the car down in there, I'd put the left sides right there on the line, come back up to the wall. I mean, that's just just a normal racing line. Racing yeah. line. Um, to find, go out there and just be able to feel the car, be like, Nope, it's better if I do this. Just on the concrete patch down there. And I and I get that. And then I mean, everybody else goes to it. Yep. Uh, yep. Yes. It was it was interesting. I mean it I mean the race was what it was. That's you it's guy the best car and he dominated. All right. This is where I uh, this he definitely did. I mean at one point he was what, thirteen seconds. Oh, he, was I think it was. he was he was riding. <laughs> he he probably wasn't even touching the brake. No, I don't think he was. Um so what I want to ask you in this, and I want your honest opinion, uh, social media has been on fire since last night on to today. People, or Some people are saying this is the reason they left North Wilkesboro, boring racing. Um, a lot of, uh, it, what it was a horrible race. It was blah, blah, blah. I mean, all right, honest opinion. What you think? I, th- I think the expectations were uh, a bit too high. I mean that that's just how that's how North Wicksboro racing is. You have to race the racetrack. You can you can't race hard the whole race or you, you won't you won't be going anywhere. All right, all right. But in saying that real fast, what do you think the expectations were? What what would have constituted people saying it was a good, good race? Yeah, I think they were expecting, you know, going there, you know, run all over each other, moving each other, this, this that, you know, a car like, tour, like, like like that, like like, a, like an old Bristol where they just moving each other off the bottom every other lap. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, I think just the allure around it. I mean, that I don't know. I I was an old school world close where I was born, but watching right. it, that's that's kind of the race in it. It's always had. It is. It's just, it's just it is. that you can't race hard on a worn out surface. You, you just can't. Remember watching, um, well, I don't remember watching it, but if you look back, there was times with, uh, I'm trying to remember, with Dale Earnhardt and Darrell Waltrip getting into it there, and that they were fighting for the bottom of the track. Yeah. Um, I, I, don't, it, I don't know yet. I mean, the expectations, I, I just... So so do you say overall it wasn't that great of a race? It wasn't, that, it wasn't that great, but I, I think... If you take you know Kyle Larson away, it was okay race, but you you can't fault a guy for just being you, being on his game. No. You can't you can't see and and I think this is probably where I differ than the casual fan, uh, and this is where I even I, I think me and you probably even differ on this. Uh, but I I know you know this and and understand it as well. I I look back at like you were talking about like the older racing. I never had a problem with it personally because, and this is because me and you, but this is my point about it. I know that it takes when you got a, regardless, that track is so wore out. I mean, it is just shot. They couldn't even run jet dryers on it because it was just just, falling apart. Um, so I, 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 I know it regardless of what tire you bring there. Tire hasn't fell off much. This track's going to wear out tires. Oh, yeah. It's going it's like a cheese crater. And it did. And it did. What I liked about that race to me it was a great race because there were guys having having to conserve tires. It wasn't just wide open. It wouldn't go in there downshift just jam it on the gas. They uh Clint Boyer we even talked about one night or or last night that um they were on an onboard camera on Ryan Blaney's car. He come out of turn two, or no, come out of turn four, try to get in the gas, and you could hear the wheel spinning the entire way down the front yeah. straightaway. That's, that's, he that's, could not get in the gas. And that was awesome to me. It was like, all right, you got to figure out how to drive this car, how to not tear your tires up, how to, you know, how to drive a race to racetrack, as you said. And to me, that's what made it a great race. But I know I'm in that minority. There's probably, there's probably not <laughs> much more than me and you that would, you know, be okay with that. Exactly. To the casual fan, they're looking at it like this is this it's is horrible. Terrible, yeah. Nah, and so I, I understand. I think it. I think it was just a bad a bad but, storm of events. A car that hasn't raced great on short tracks. So that's an all star race. So there's only twenty something cars out there. So there's not going to be much lap traffic. And, and that's and that's my point too yeah. because you look at. Um, 
and Denny Hamlin did have this to say, and I, I agreed with him on this, um, that you look at and you, you're hoping for a race like the Cars Tour race. How I said it was just, to me, it just looked intense the whole yeah. time. Um, and you want a race like that. You want to see a race like that. Uh, the difference is also, I agreed with Denny on the fact that the talent in the on the cup side is the best in the world. Um, you don't have guys going in there and just throwing it in there typically. And yeah, you're not going to have many people just, it's just making stupid mistakes. Right. You don't have the stupid mistakes. You got the guys who know how to uh, conserve tires. So they're doing, they're all doing it. It's not one doing it, another one driving hard. They're, they're all doing it. And so when that happens, it, it doesn't look as appeasing to the eye, I guess. Um, I don't know. It was, it's just, I mean, there, there was one lane right, right on the bottom. I mean, you saw them going into one. They might have been that far off the inside wall. It's, it's just that's that's just the way Noah hit it in, yeah in the open I mean it's just that, that that's what I was expecting I I didn't go in there expecting them to be able to you know two and three wide no. somebody roll on the top somebody on the bottom some comers and go I mean there was there was come, there was some of that but I mean that, you just can't you can't do that now I do think I think I will have to uh, I I personally think the car is what made it more of a yeah, tricked out race. Yeah, I, I, I just don't capped out race. Um, but I also, I'm gonna put a little bit on the tire too. Not that the tire didn't wear out, but if you go back and look at the race from last night, uh, there was never a groove, a defined groove in the track. It's like it, the track did not the take track just the so old and had just no grip. No, not at all. But you still would think the rubber would lay down in the track yeah. in all that stuff but it never did and i think if you'd have seen rubber lay down in it after so long you're going to move a little bit because that rubber gets slick it is it, it slick off and you'll see the groove move a little bit and create options yeah. but i, I guess it's hard to have a tire i mean how often are you gonna have a track this wore out exactly. you know short exactly. track wise well i heard they took the same exact tire they had at phoenix at it mm-hmm. to that to north Wales, right but they probably Lake. wanted something that would i mean you can't, yeah, you can't you can't take tubes off the tire. It's going to absolutely no. Be but looking at racing at Phoenix, Phoenix was yeah, horrible. <laughs> yeah, just what it. Yeah. So uh, this car, I mean, it just don't race very well. Maybe maybe it's the, it's the big brakes. That's that's kind of the thing that I point to the most. Big brakes downshifting. Yeah, I, I think the car does not. It's just not to built, short tracks yeah, right now, which 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 is terrible because this is the point. This, there was a big push to get back to short tracks, and now, and now all of a sudden. You know, there's a car. Everybody's telling them, you know, why are we going to short tracks? You know, so yeah. cars not made for it. Cars made for road courses. We don't need any more road courses. Nope, I agree with that. Um, so Kyle Larson goes on to win it. Our buddy Tyler Mon, congratulations to Tyler. But yeah, congratulations to our buddy Tyler Mon, spotter for Kyle Larson there. Um, on a cool win that's still cool it's, it's cool it's, it's still yeah no no matter how it happened you know they, they dominated probably the coolest way you can do it personally i know? haven't seen that kind of domination in a long time you can't nope but i, th- I think that's where you're gonna get it though yeah uh, and and that's it's, man i like it i liked it i liked it so on our uh picks our uh completely backwards picks for this past week well we still want to pick the winners and whatever else best finisher but we're doing it backwards uh as in uh, highest finisher gets first pick, second place gets second pick, and so on, so on. So, uh, who'd you have? Well, is, is this week 13? No, this was the extra one we wrote at the bottom. Right there. You had Josh Berry. No, no I had him at Martinsville one time. Well, you had somebody. Who'd you have? You wrote it. What? Or did you... Write it I on might have just marked it on here. Did you mark it on there? I think I had Joy, because that's, that's the highest number I have on here. What you got, 14? Yeah, I have 13. I have 13 was uh, Darlington. Who did I have? Well, who did you take? We'll have to go back and listen to it. Oh, well. I, <laughs> I, I, I'll pick last. It don't matter. Well, no, I picked last, because mine didn't even make it in the race. <laughs> um, Sterling had Ross Chastain, who had a... Uh, Decent finish. I can't remember where he finished, but I know he was uh, close to the front. Close to the front there. Something tells me I had Busher, but I'm not sure. You did. That's exactly who you had. Yeah. Why well, well, didn't write it down? I don't know. You yeah. did have Busher, because we were picking yeah. around, because I, you said Busher, and I, and I said Priest. 
Okay, and, there we go. So, and Busher made it in because of his win last year. So uh, Ryan Priest did not make it in. So nope. I got last. <laughs> so Sterling got to pick first this week. Going into the 600 at Charlotte. Uh, Memorial Day weekend race there. Um, Sterling picks this week's winner, Kyle Larson. For the six hundred at Charlotte, you can you can pick him anywhere and it be a Dude, good. Dude, I'm pick. telling you, that's never a bad pick. It's a, he's had some rough go at it in some races. He should, I think, he should have won Darlington. Um, oh yeah, there's been several times other races. Close. Yeah, so, uh, so going into this week, uh, he's got uh, Sterling takes Larson there. Um, who you want? I think I'm gonna take. It's gonna be. I think it's going to be Hendrick week for sure. So I think I'm going to take Chase. Chase Elliott. Yep. Hmm. Looking forward to it. Last year, that was a really good race last year. It was a good race last year. And I hope I hope that it puts on Kansas-type racing. Mm-hmm. If that, if we get Kansas-type yeah. racing for 600 miles, yeah, I'm not used- might, we might be up all night uh Sunday night watching it, yeah. <laughs> but but it'll be. Hey, I'm I'm not used to looking forward to mile and a half, but that's kind of where we're at right now with this car. Yes, yeah, it's um. Dang, I already took him. <laughs> 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 looking at people I already took. Oh man, um, I am going to take one we were just talking about. I'm gonna take him to uh. Pick up his first race of the year here. I'm gonna go with Ross Chastain. There you go. I think it's uh he's had enough drama. I think it's time for him to uh break out a win. Yep, either that or getting more into more drama. I uh, would. Hey, I'm fine with it. I don't. I don't have a problem. With See, it. this is what happened. This is this is what's gonna be the uh, um, I guess uh, determining factors here. Um, is uh. I, I I've done pretty good there first part of the year. I, I've I've got. You, I you guess gotta, we, we're, we're not count, comfortable lead. Well, but the problem is I've got uh six wins. Sterling's got four. You got three. Not counting his all star win here. Um, doesn't count. I just gave him first pick. <laughs> um, but my problem is here now. I still got a few drivers to use, but it's like all right you kind of get scared, like Kyle Larson last night. I know Sterling took him, and he might do good. But it seems like this year's like after other than William Byron, after somebody gets a win or runs up front, it's like they kind of Dis- disappear for a week Well, it's two. like they start testing. Yeah, that's, they, that's they start thing. throwing start, stuff at it. Yeah. yeah. So it's hard to pick somebody to get on a roll. I'm locked in it. All right, well, see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, after 14 weeks, all my, you know, you kind of pick the ones that you – Typically, think gonna run top fifteen. Well, you kind of now I'm getting outside yeah. the top fifteen, but I still got some good picks left. Yeah. I still got. I think I still got, got the Larsons. I still got the Elliot. Uh, I still got. I got a couple. Chris for Bell, maybe. I got. We got a few here. Yeah. So now, now it's a fun time of season. Yeah. Once we get here, we start looking at who runs fifteenth and who runs exactly. 15th. Exactly makes it makes it good and fun. Good and fun. Guys, want to uh, also thank our good friends over at. MPM. Go to www.marketwithmpm.com. McAllister Precision Marketing. Go talk to Tanya over there. If you are a uh, young, up-and-coming driver, especially, even even older guys, but especially if you're a young, up-and-coming driver and really want to make it in this in this world of racing, you got to have somebody who is in the know. And Tanya is definitely in the know. Tanya McAllister over at MPM. Guys, head over to uh, Market with MPM. Like I said, and... uh she will uh, point you in the right direction all the ways you need to go in racing. So uh, marketwithmpm.com. Go check them out. All right. So uh, let's talk about Charlotte real fast. Uh, upcoming race. What you what you expect out of it? I know we were just kind of talking about hope it's a... Uh, I, think, I think it will be a good race. I mean, I really... I think this car... This is, is where this car excels. I, it's, it's mile and a half. I think it is too, especially Charlotte. Something Char- about Charlotte, Charlotte. seemed to work good. I, I, I'll be. I mean, I don't want to take all the race away from Wilkesboro just yet, but I think I, w- I think I'd rather have another race at on the Oval at Charlotte than I would the Roval at the end of the year. Yeah, I, boy, that's always a. I guess because it's a layoff, it, cut off, or sometimes yeah. cut off. But I, I'd, I'd rather have another night race at Charlotte 
yeah. four hundred mile or something. But uh, I would too. Um, I think it'll be good. I think I think you I think you'll see the good teams up front here, and I think you'll see Charlotte is always one of those tracks where it doesn't matter what car it seems like. It seems like especially coming off four for whatever reason, everybody's car gets light there, spin out whatever. Um, this car had those characteristics at Kansas. Um, people just losing it by themselves, which we haven't seen in years. So that's, that's the crazy thing is on one hand, I want to hate the car. On the other hand, it's putting on some of the best racing yeah. in a mile and a half. It's like, okay, just fix the short track. Leave that package alone. Yeah. Don't fix touch that. the short track package. So, but at least we got a mile we got and half. something. Yeah. We got, we got plenty of mile and a half this week. Six, um, 600 miles. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, uh, long race. We get to watch it there. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably with you though. Um, even though I picked Chastain, I, I'm probably with you. And I think it's going to be a, a Hendrick. Gonna, Hendrick and Gibbs. And I could see Josh Berry. I guess he's still running this week. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, <laughs> I, I can see him can, even doing good there. It's going to be a track he excels at, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is crazy, thinking, you know, coming from short tracks the way he does, and he did good at uh, North Wicks yeah. uh, Which he's probably had more laps there, actually, than... Uh, so really, I was thinking about that. I, I couldn't think of a time when he would have... when He, he hasn't raced. Yeah. He hasn't raced. Okay, so he, he just tested, tested Junior's car okay. like crazy before the last year's uh, Cars Tour race. Um, that makes sense. They kept they kept saying that on the broadcast, and I was like, I, I don't, you know, I, I can't remember a time <laughs> yeah, he, that I've seen late models run there, other than you know when they brought it back. Him and Carson, when they were bringing that, they brought those over there to test at it to make sure everything was going to be good. And they spent a few days over there testing. So, um, so he's had a lot of laps in a late model, but I mean, so, but anyway, regardless, um, I could see. I'm not looking for much out of the Fords right now still. Yeah, they don't, they don't seem to have. And I don't know why, because everything's so similar. It's just, I don't know I don't know what they're off on. Yep. I guess it's so similar if you get off by a little bit. That's a lot. Make a big difference, yep. It's a lot. So, uh, but anyway. Cool, 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 cool. What else we got? I don't know. I got to go take a, we're getting out of a legend car here soon and going up to uh, U.S. Legends tomorrow to pick up some fenders. Are you? That's the plan. The plan. Any we'll racing this we'll weekend? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we. If we, we might we'll have. We'll, we'll see might. if we get put on the card at Anderson, or if we end up at Florence. We'll see. We, we uh, might have some cool stuff coming up here. I'm, I might be. Me and Connor might be official teammates this week. <laughs> we don't know yet. Yep. <laughs> I, I think. Uh, I think. I think we probably will. If I, if I, if I had to guess, <laughs> I'm just long for the ride. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll hey, bring my helmet. Whatever. We'll, we'll, yep. Well, I'll bring the helmet. We'll, we'll see what we'll see what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, well I got to make sure rear end ain't bent. Which uh, are y'all just you taking it up there just to put it in jig? Well, or? no, no. We we it's still in car. We just go take it out and see. It's got to be uh, fixed from where it ripped the shock mount out of, and uh, so that's got to be fixed. And we got to check to see if it's bent. So we still got some work to do. Hopefully. Hey, everything like cars hopefully, bent. Hopefully, hopefully with it ripping the shop mount out, it didn't. Bend. Yeah, hopefully it didn't. That's what Russell kind of thing. Maybe that absorbed, you know, everything. Yeah, that's where all the energy went. But it, it it was so crazy because uh, the wreck. Watching it on flow racing, it looked like y'all just kind of touch wheels and you just spun around yeah. basically. But then you showed me the in car camera from the was that car behind you? I think yeah. it was. I was like, oh, that was a lot worse than what it looked like on flow <laughs> yeah. racing. Yeah, we got T bone pretty hard there. You kind of jumped up in the air a little bit, and oh, I was like, ooh, glad you didn't uh, tear none of that up. I mean, yeah. more, I mean you know, go over. Yeah, I mean, like we, we got out I mean, a lot better than some people did in that one. Yeah. So. Uh, speaking of, there was a uh, a pretty pretty nasty lick in uh, Dylan this past weekend in the in the legend car. Oh, really? Yeah, Dennis actually come out. They were in a heat race, uh, first lap coming out of turn four. Uh, come around, took green flag, come around. Coming out of turn four, Dennis was under the 99 of Ryan Carlson there. Um, it looked like, from the video, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to necessarily speculate on it. I'm just saying what it looked like. It looked like 99 might have got a little loose up top, just a little bit. And Dennis looked like, it looked like he saw that, or either he just gassed it up, and he just loops it off of four. Which one? Dennis, yeah. Uh, Dennis did in the 95 um, and just loops it but he's down at the bottom of the track didn't touch anything did a 360 and kind of 
went rolling, but when it happened, 77 of uh, Thomas... I'm going to mess up his last Martucci. name. Martucci. Mar- yeah. I'm sorry, Thomas, if I mess your last name up. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, he told me, he said, I was looking at the flag saying I saw the caution come out. So I checked up because he was actually in front of it. Well, the 99 looked like he come way off the wall, like he was still loose and never and hadn't checked up at all yet. And he kind of runs over the entire side of the oh. 77 but they're still going pretty fast, and they go, I mean, hard into the inside Probably. wall. Uh, it, it broke the 77 car. Literally every every link on that car was broke. Wow. That's not good. I mean, every one of them. But in saying that, I think all those took all the hit on it because I was looking at it. I was like, the clip don't even look bent. It looks like just every bar everything, on everything it, around it yeah. none of the mounts broke or anything i didn't see there they I mean they might be more now but uh it is but in saying that the 99 car he went head on into to the wall and it took the whole front clip and just twisted it yeah all the way around that was fairly a new car yeah and it is uh it's, oof. it's it may it's, be it's toast. Ate it, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it may be toast. Uh, like I said, I know the front clip's gone. Uh, it may be more than that. But uh, Ryan sat in the car there for a little while. Um, had to catch his breath. I'm sure. We'll say uh, he was good. He 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 got out on his own power. They both did. Um, I was I was actually standing there with Thomas's mom when it happened. I was mm. standing in that there trailer. I walked down there to watch the start of it. And, Everything was going good, and they hit, and it, it hit so hard. I know this doesn't sound like much, but in the Legend car, it seems like a lot. It hit so hard. It sounded just a huge boom when they hit the wall, but when I look, it knocked tires off the rims on two of them. I mean, just, you know how that sounds yeah. when it happens, like a tire right. blowing out. So it sounded horrible, um, but it was a... Glad they both got out of it. Absolutely. It was a, uh, it was a tough wreck. Sucks, especially in a heat race. Oh, yeah. Like that, you don't race. want to see that. You don't want to see it any time. No, but when especially when yeah. it's just like, man, yeah. really? <laughs> so, uh, anyway. So, so yeah, we may be... Uh, we may be heading up somewhere. Maybe heading somewhere. I'll let y'all know. We're, but, just let everybody know. Next Monday, Memorial Day, we'll be taking the day off. Sounds good. I'll give you the day off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> I'll give you the day off, Connor. We can go, uh, go eat a cheeseburger somewhere. That's fine with me. Somebody cook one somewhere. Yes, sir. Buy some water, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, well, uh, I got some. I got my niece's graduation to go to Thursday night. Um, when, when's graduation for y'all? That you said you got to be in. No, that was Friday. Oh, that was Friday. Yeah, we already done it. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> graduation seems so early this year for everybody. That's what I was feeling like. I'm like, man, I just feel like the year started, man. <sighs> All right, well. I guess this summer. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm. That's the kind of mode I'm in. All right. Well, I got school ending for all my school buses uh, end of this week. So, uh, so there you. Go. So I'll be in summer mode too, <laughs> I guess, which stinks for us. It's a complete opposite for y'all. You had to work harder to get everything. Yeah, ready. we we have all these what we call annual repairs over the summer, so we're wide open. I can on imagine. Those. Yep. Uh, so we'll get all that, all that fun stuff taken care of. Yep. Enjoy it. But uh. But anyway, all right, guys. Well, we always want to uh, appreciate all our support for this show. All you guys watching out there, all y'all that share, like, all that fun stuff, share it if you can. We sure would appreciate it. Uh, get the word out there. Um, but want to thank, as always, Earl Ramey Racing Engines, ProFab Headers and Exhaust, uh, SRI Performance, Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, Dixie Made, Rev Max Racing. Uh, also, MPM Marketing, guys. We want to uh, thank all of them. We sure appreciate all their help all the time. Uh, it's cool. Cool to have y'all on. Cool to have cool people like Butterbean, Brendan Queen, coming on, hanging out with us today. He's a good dude. Good dude for sure. Love having him on. Hopefully we'll have him on. <laughs> Who knows? He go win thirty thousand dollars. I'm gonna yeah, be like, you gotta back. come back <laughs> <laughs> every time you win a big race. You got to we, we got to get reaction to this. So, no, nah, it's cool. But um, anyway, guys, uh, we appreciate y'all uh, hanging out, and I guess we'll talk with y'all in two weeks. See you.